Okay, I wanted to show you guys my antenna I just made. Um, this is the transmit part. It's a 14 gauge wire. And it's 17 feet, 8 inches long. Then it hooks down here on one side of this television flat wire. This is ladder wire. It's 300 ohm wire. And it is 8 feet 2 inches. Anyway, you just hook it to one side of this 8 foot piece of uh, ladder wire or 300 ohm flat wire. And then down here at the bottom, it's soldered together. So it makes a J. See, because this end up here, it doesn't solder to anything. Okay. Well, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I just couldn't help it. I wanted to see if I could do it. I went and got a fishing reel with some fishing line on it. And way up in my tree, I threw it up there. I tried to measure one day with a tape measure. Whip. It was hard to do. Where about 17 feet off the ground was or better. And then I threw a bolt with the fishing line attached to it up over the tree limb. Now, I'll tie this chop line, this is some really heavy chop line, to that and hoist it up into the tree and pull that chop line down the other side and then I'll tie that to my antenna and hoist it up into the tree. Well, we're not there yet, so first I gotta solder my coax to my antenna I just made. Okay, next you bear this ladder wire off about six, seven inches up. There ain't no telling where this is going to go. It may go up in the past seven, I don't know. That's where I'm going to start. Then you bear your coax off and solder to it. Like so, but this coax has to go the center one has to go on the green side. So I'll have to figure out that. Alright, well I'll get back to you. Well finally I got it soldered. But I wouldn't say it was the prettiest job. I put some black tape in between those. I'm probably going to have to redo it anyway because if this WR is not right, I have to move it. Okay. And that's it for this part.